Paul Bryan Jr., can you tell us a little bit about what experience you had this weekend? We heard it was a tragic one. Well, you know, I had dialysis three times and a transfusion two times. And uh, the only thing now that I have uh, is the headaches and the prospect of having the dialysis every other day for the rest of my life. But I think I've uh, had my last transfusion. Okay, you had uh, also experienced another um, accident while while this took place where an artery, artery was cut and uh, the doctors didn't discover till two hours later that you were... Well, actually it was two days later and they couldn't staunch the bleeding all that time and I really got in a tremendous uh, depression tailspin. I thought I was going to bleed to death from the jugular vein and uh, fortunately it was corrected. Uh, what the nurse said is the doctor will fix it and actually the doctor did fix it and I call it a miracle. Wow. Will uh, Reagan with uh, Bonzo. Bedtime for Bonzo. And this is uh, Borat. And this is Laron Hardy. And this is Laron Hardy dancing. They've got the same pose. And this. His cheek and maybe the eyeball, you know. And then the sun sets on Jerry Garcia. He's just over the shoulder is the red dot because he's dead. And I tried to uh, put the dot lower and lower in their life until after they're dead, I just barely get it above the horizon. You know? Oh, interesting. If they are starting like Britney Spears, they get the dot at the top like a sunny day, and then it starts dropping, dropping. What Do you remember when you first created this painting? When oh, I probably was living at Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. How many, about how many years ago? About ten. Ten years. There's no grass. Now, I don't think you've gotten a photograph this side. But now you can post this on the web. Maybe you can have virtual signatures. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> and they would sign and have their email address and uh, say that they're going to make an exception for Janis Joplin. And it's not finished, but it, it's almost finished. Well, but uh, almost is not good enough. I should do the the shadows. You know, when people say you paint the shadows or you paint the uh, light, you know what I say? What? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Now this one has a very good story. This is Jerry Garcia in Egypt at the pyramids, and. That guy can't, I don't think you've ever met him, but I keep trying to get you to go down to Laguna and see his store. He said, try to make the glasses blue. And I said, well, you don't understand. This is supposed to be Japan or China with the red dot and the red. And he said, just try it. And I said, he said, just try it. And I tried it and it sold when it was still wet. Wow. So now I always make the glasses blue. It's like you know, he's on LSD. Well, you heard the story, rose-colored glasses. Yes. Well, he's got the blue glasses. And it turns out he doesn't like weed. He doesn't like LSD. He likes Persian morphine. Persian morphine. And he said, it's better than heroin because you don't put your head in the soup.
<laughs> I guess heroin makes you fall asleep. Yeah. But Persian morphine, you, it's like reds. You stay awake, but you're down, down, you know. Now, this is what I wanted you to see. Please have a seat. Okay. I've got a copy, and you've got a copy. And I've got to get my magnifying glass to read. Because what happened is a Xerox of a Xerox, it got blurred. Now, if you would do me the favor.